Hey guys, what is going on? It is your girl Rhonda. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a quarantine and chill edition featuring me and my daughters. I am going to show you the method that I use when I braid my daughter's hair, both my daughters. Um, I'm going to show you Anaya's hair first because I did her hair yesterday, which was Mother's Day. So I'm going to show you guys her hair first and then I'm going to show you how I do Felice's hair using the Sensational brand um, hair, braiding hair. I, quite frankly, really don't like the braiding hair, to be honest with you, because it's, it has a very plastic consistency, and I don't like braiding hair that has a plastic consistency. So it's not to the dismay of wigtypes.com because I mean, they came through on the clutch and supplied your girl with some braiding hair. It's more so the, the brand itself, the company itself, sensational. They need to go ahead and tweak some stuff because I don't think that's 100% um, Kaneka line hair. Uh, they might need to go in and tweak it, adjust it, whatever the case may be. But I'm going to show you that hair, that um, the color that I'm going to be using on her head. Her hair color is like a ginger color because we added a semi-permanent dye to her hair back in, I want to say February or March, something like that. So, I'm going to be using this hair, as you can see. My hair for me, uh, a pack of hair so I can show them exactly what it looks like. If you did in um, tune into my last video, where I unboxed the entire box that I got from wigtypes.com and the braiding hair. This is how the braiding hair comes, just like this. It goes from Sensational, it's 96 inches, and it's the Expressions Collection. So I got it in 1B, and then I got it in the color 30, which I just showed you guys. And it's pretty long, it's pretty lengthy. Um, yeah, I, you see how it says 100% connect line fiber? I think, I think they're misinforming people because my fingers, I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have cuts on my fingers, like paper cuts on my fingers. So I'm disappointed <laughs> that I got it, but I had no choice but to get it because I usually do braids in my, both my daughter's hair as a protective style because they are natural. So yeah. So. What, we're, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you Anaya's hair. Come here, So I braided her hair yesterday, as I stated. And this is... It's not bad. Say hi. <laughs> so this is how her hair looks. I used the braiding... Um, not the braiding, the rubber band method. So if you guys can see, it doesn't look like there's a rubber band but there is so i used the rubber band method for her hair and it came out pretty nice uh, i really like it i really like it it really came out nice the only problem that i had is the ends when it came to boiling you see how it looks all shriveled i don't like that but what, what are you going to do at this point say bye, bye. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and start doing talis hair together it creates this super magnificent hope. Um, I'm going to oil her hair as we go along. I use the wild growth hair oil on everyone's head. Like literally I put this on everybody's head in the top row. Okay. One person well person only thing I don't put it on is Oreo. The sheets are ready, you know, to right on here. I'm not saying we ball because we got here too, but I'm just saying like I grease everybody's hair with this. And then later on for her edges, we're going to use the Eco Styling Gel, Coconut Gel. And we're going to set the braiding here using a lot of body. Everybody knows about a lot of body. I don't know if you guys can see because it seems like it's being washed out. So this is how it looks. And of course, rubber band. Um, I'm gonna need to 
scissors to cut the hair, but I already cut the clip to put the hair away, along with some scrunchies that already came on the hair. So that's the move, and of course, band-aids because I'm not about to mess my fingers up today. My little fingers were hurting like hell yesterday. I'm not trying to go through that today. So I came prepared. I got my band-aids on that. So from here on out, I'm not gonna be talking anymore. I will more than likely do a voiceover. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And other than that, you guys, I will see you on the next one. So here I'm just sectioning off Talisa's hair using the Murray's pomade and a little bit of the Palmer's olive oil edge control. It's easier for me to grip and make sure that everything is slick in place and it's not going nowhere. And I'm going to take the braiding hair, even it out and detangle it before I insert it into her hair. Now, what I noticed about this hair is that I really wasn't having that much difficulty with braiding her hair as opposed to the difficulties that I experienced when I was braiding Anaya's hair. I don't know if the braiding hair was processed differently, but either way, I was able to get the job done. So I'm satisfied with this color hair. <laughs> if that makes sense because the one B hair was just entirely too much like it was just so difficult to use
So here I'm showing you like I'm practically halfway done. Um, it took me three hours. I started at exactly at 4.30 and I stopped at 7.30. It would have been shorter if I had not took breaks in between, you know, to snack and cook. So and answer text messages and phone calls. But I would have been done in at least two hours. I only use approximately three packs of hair on Talisa's head. And I feel like it was that much because um, the length of the hair, which was 92 inches. And the hair was actually pretty damn thick. So, yeah. And then you see Oreo in the background. She always has to make a guest appearance, y'all. <laughs> I swear, it never fails. She always has to get in my video some way, somehow. <laughs> so you see the rollers that's on the side of Talisa's hair? She wanted um, a little curl effect going on somewhere within her hairstyle. So I took a piece of hair out and rolled it up. And you'll see towards the end of the video how it looks. The hair really didn't curl that well. You guys, <laughs> I'm trying to remain optimistic, but it didn't curl that well, but it looks good in the same token. You guys will have to see it at the end, but I, I tried. I really tried with this hair, but never again, never again, never again. <laughs> I find that using the rubber band method actually helped me a lot because like I stated early in my video, I don't really know how to braid using um, braiding hair, you know, the typical normal way. I don't know how to do that. So if you're a beginner like me, the rubber band method is definitely helpful and it just I feel like it preserves the braids a little bit longer as opposed to the normal way. But I really like this method. And whoever came up with this method, shout out to you because I would have been lost in the sauce, don't know where to be found. <laughs> like, whoever came up with this method, you are so freaking creative. And I really thank you. This is the best test. Test. <laughs> this is the best te technique oh my god i'm so tongue tied today this is the best technique that i have ever tried So here I'm just cutting off the little stragglers that you see. I go through each braid to make sure that there's no hair sticking out. I just feel like even though you could dip the hair in water and it automatically sort of kind of blend in, I just take the extra step just to cut it off because I want my canvas to look beautiful. So here you see Talisa. Look at her. Just looking all gorgeous or whatever. So I'm just taking the mousse and I'm going through her hair to set it in place i know sometimes i see other youtubers put their clients underneath a hair dryer i don't have a hair dryer and honestly i feel like everything 
dries better when it's air dry. That's just my personal opinion. When you wash your hair, you let your hair air dry, it just dries better. If you wash your weave, you let it air dry, <laughs> it just dries better. I just feel like everything dries better when it's air dry. I don't know. But, um, so I'm just doing that and I'm taking the, um, the rods out, the curling rods out. I got these from my local beauty supply store before we went into, you know, this whole, I ain't gonna say it, but y'all already know. <laughs> before all the stores had closed officially i have went and um got me some rollers because i figure i'm gonna be doing hair either my hair or their hair and you see what i'm talking about right there that curl right there like it curled but it didn't curl the way i wanted it to girl but i tried my best with this braid in here and her hair really looks good um like i said i really like this method it's so easy and it just makes it, it's just beautiful I, I really really love it and you could put it up in a half up half down you could put it all the way up into a pony or a bun I'm just showing you guys what it looks like I really enjoyed doing her hair doing Anaya's hair it it just looks so beautiful So here we are giving you a close-up of what the braids look like. This is the final product. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, my loves, peace and blessings. Love you guys. Bye.